Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And in today's Onshape Quick Tip, I'm gonna show you how you can pre-select geometry before creating a new reference plane. Now, this is a great way to save time because you don't need to go into this flyout menu and choose offset plane or plane point or line angle. You can just let Onshape select it for you by pre-selecting. So here's what I mean. I'm gonna start out by selecting this right plane here, and then I'm gonna choose the plane icon. Now you see that Onshape has automatically selected an offset plane type. So I could type in a distance here like 32, enter, enter, and Onshape automatically makes a new plane offset at 32 millimeters. But let's do this again, and this time I'm going to pre-select the plane and pre-select the point off of the model. Now when I choose the plane icon, I'm happy to see that Onshape has automatically selected a different plane type. Now I'm getting a plane parallel to the original plane at a point or the plane point option for creating a new reference plane. Or let's say I pre-select this planar face and this linear edge here, and then I launch the plane command. Well now, this time Onshape has selected a different plane type. I'm selecting a plane here using the line angle option, which means that I can grab this little handle here and rotate the plane around until I get the desired angle of 50 degrees. And now you can see that I've created a new plane at 50 degrees. So let's create another plane here. Let's say I wanted to create a plane exactly at the center of this rib. Well, all I need to do is select these two faces, choose the plane command, and this time Onshape automatically selects the mid plane option. So now I'm creating a plane that's running right down the center of those two faces. This is super helpful and definitely one that I use all the time. But I'd say probably the one I use the most because I do a lot of surface modeling in Onshape is the plane normal to a curve at a point option. So I'm gonna select a curve here and then I'm gonna select this end point of the curve and then I'm going to begin the plane command. And now we see that Onshape is automatically creating a new plane perpendicular to that curve or normal to that curve at the point that I selected. And that is a command that I use quite often when I'm creating lofts or sweeps and I want them to be normal to the guide curve or the path. So the pre-selection of geometry before launching the plane command is a little shortcut that I have found has saved me a lot of time in Onshape. But what do you think? Did you know about this shortcut? And can you think of any other places that I could maybe be using this? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you're enjoying this series, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for the next episode.